everybody, welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with my bestie, Mandy. And I'm here with my bestie, Jessica. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are starting a new series. Once a month, we're gonna put out a video about all the authors that are attending Beyond the Reader event in Ohio, which is in June. And we're influencers there, you might've seen us post about that. So as part of that, we are gonna be highlighting all the authors and their works. <laughs> Okay, so we've randomly went through and did about 10 authors for each video. So in this video, we'll just get started. So first off the gate, one of our favorite authors, Lucia Franco. Mm -hmm. Who we got to meet this weekend, so that was awesome. Yes, so. Off balance. Do you want me to talk about Off Balance? Well, you can. Yeah. Okay. So this is this was the book that introduced me to Lucio Franco. I think it's the book that introduced Mandy to Lucio Franco. This is yes. her Off Balance series. This is about an Olympic gymnast or an Olympic gymnast hopeful who ends up in a relationship and pining after her coach who is much, much older. She is 16 when the book starts and he's in his 30s. So this is a taboo age gap Olympic romance and it is five books long technically six if you count the extra novella that she just wrote a, a year or so ago and it will consume you because it did for us it was yeah. angsty and just oh yeah so good okay then we have um hold on to me is another one by lucia franco you might know also like hush hush and what's the other one Oh, Say Yes, which is the second mm -hmm. hush, hush. Um, So hold on to me. I have not read this yet, but I'm very excited to read it. I think I'm a little nervous because, you know, anything that kind of sounds even remotely love triangle makes me nervous. Um, so this is about this girl and John. They're together and then something changes their lives forever and he gets pushed into the arms of someone else and then he disappears. And when he comes back a couple months later, Things are complicated because she's pregnant and she doesn't know if he is the father or not. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, next up we have Izzy Sweet and Sean Moriarty. So Izzy and Sean are a husband and wife team that write together. They do have books uh, they've written separately, but their most popular series is their Disciple series that starts with Stealing Amy. I've read, um, I, think about, I think I've read all of the Disciple series now. It's Mafia. It's dark. It's great. I love it. Um, you and I both read Broken Wings, which is the MC yes. Amnesia romance, which started our Izzy Sweet and Sean Moriarty journey because that was so friggin' good. That was. Uh -huh. And then I also have um, Willing, which is a part of their Un series. They've only written the one. They're, they were writing the second book to go in the series. It's just going to be um, interconnected standalones. But this is a vampire, vampire huntress um, and Mandy's gonna be reading this really soon. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is really, really good too. Okay, next up we have Kristen Lee and she writes sports romance with swoon worthy heroes. I recently read Stealing a Second Chance, which is a baseball romance where he uh, and her were like friends when they were kids and something has happened between the two of them. She has an older brother that she doesn't want to betray, but we don't really know what's going on. And so you kind of have to read the book and there's some things that happen and there's some twists and turns, but he gets um, transferred or not transferred, but like, he's kind of traded just for his rehab time to the team that she is a PR manager for and so the two of them are kind of thrown together and he's trying to rekindle something and yeah lots of there's lots of some twists and turns in that one and then she has another one that's called ride with Beckett and it's age gap and arranged marriage mm. and I really want to read that one it sounds very good okay all right so the next one that we have is Liberty Parker. We both have not read anything by Liberty Parker yet, but she writes MC Romance. Her most popular book is um, Braxton. It is the number, like book number one in her Rebel Guardians MC. Uh, and it sets up this single father who comes to this town to start this new MC, to set up this M new MC group in this town. And he um, meets a woman who's also just recently moved into town. She's a single mom and his neighbor. So their kids hit it off first, which then sounds like it, that's what leads to them oh. becoming more. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we have Stephanie Webb Dillon. I have not read anything by this author yet, but I will be. She also writes MC, 
which is a theme in our, <laughs> I don't know list. how this happened. Yeah. Um, so she also writes MC and she has the Undertaker's Match series and Zeke is the, or not series, excuse me. The Undertaker's Match is the name of the first book in the series. And Zeke is the Ripper's president and his wife gets sick and dies. He loses himself like in this whole process and hooks up with this waitress. And then Annie shows up six months later, pregnant, jobless, and homeless. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Yep. Uh, and the last one that I have is, is Isabel Lucier, Lucero. Um, and it's, she writes, so she writes contemporary and she kind of writes a little bit of everything is from what I could tell. There's some billionaire in there. There was mm. some, uh, MC. There was, there was a little bit of everything. There was, I think you even saw some sports. Um, but her most popular book is Living in Sin. It's in her escort series. So this is escort number one. And this is about a, um, male escort situation. I read about it last night a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but it's co considered erotic contemporary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up we have Sierra St. James and she has several MC books. So this is, I don't know how this happened. There was a lot of MC. MC. I don't Is that a theme? Of we the randomly whole, chose like, them too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, so Reaper's Banshee is the first book in her Iron Punisher series. And Reaper has decided that he's ready to kind of settle down. He has a sister who has a family and kids and he's like feeling like he's really missing out on stuff. So he wants that too. And he ends up taking one of his club brothers, like kicking and screaming to the doctor for some reason. And this is where he meets Cheyenne, who is the doctor and he falls for her. But something has happened to Cheyenne and she is pretty much terrified of the bikers in town. Okay. So, All right. yeah. Okay. All right. So that's our first chunk of authors. So, yes. So let us know if you're going to be in Ohio, like comment that below. And if you've read any of these authors, what are some favorites of yours by them that we should be on the lookout for? And if you haven't, what's something that you're wanting to read by them? Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to see us in Ohio, tickets are still available. Yes. I don't know for how much longer though, so yeah, get those so definitely tickets. get on them. I know the the top tier VIP for sure is sold out, but there are still tickets available, so you could come see us in Ohio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. Um, this is actually coming out at the very beginning of October, and we'll have one at the very end of October because this is supposed to be the September one, but our schedule just didn't allow it to get out in September. Mm -hmm. So we will be back at the end of the month with our next ten. Yep. And in the meantime, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification button so you never miss a video from us. Mm -hmm. And also make sure you check back Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for new videos from us. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.